For this time, I would like to talk about safety. The products produced by chemical companies are chemical products of various types. Chemical companies such as the chemical company in popular terms produce chemical products known as commodities such as naphtha, ammonia, acetic acid, ethanol, ethylene, and benzene. Usually in the pursuit of efficiency in transfer and energy supply. Derivative chemical products using them as raw materials are also produced at the same location. For example, when crude oil is used as a raw material, refineries, ethylene plants and ethylene derivative product plants will be concentrated on the boundaries of various companies in the petroleum complex. In addition to commodities, pharmaceuticals such as Tamiflu and Avigan, Teflon for hard coating, and polyester derivatives as the raw materials for Alcantara, a high-class interior material are all chemical products but compared with commodities they are also called specialty chemicals in small quantities but with high margins the chemical products i am responsible for are close to commodities and are polymer chemical products that is the so-called polymers. There are many types of polymers and some are used as materials for daily necessities. For example, shopping bags are made of polyethylene while plastic models are made of polystyrene. The same is true for my products. We use a large number of reactive chemical substances called monomers. They are hazardous as raw materials produced by ourselves or imported to produce polymers. Through the steps of polymerization, which is the reaction of monomer connection. Depolymerization is the recovery of unreactive monomers from the heated polymerization reaction solution. Denaturation is a chemical modification of the polymers acquired. Drying is reducing the volatile components in the product to a specified range, etc. Here, to give you a little intuition, I have plotted figure one to illustrate the process. Among them, each process contains detailed unit operations. Unit operation may be an unfamiliar word to many non-chemical professionals. In fact, unit operation is a general term for a series of chemical engineering operations, including heat transfer, distillation, evaporation, absorption, extraction, drying, crystallization, mixing, pulverization, filtration, precipitation, and centrifugal separation. Sorry, that was a long introduction. And let's get back to the original topic, safety. The reason why I want to talk about safety first is because we chemical manufacturers deal with a large amount of 
dangerous, highly reactive chemicals every day. Therefore, safety is the first element of our professional concern. So what is safety? What does safety defense mean? Generally, we use the word safety in the sense that no harmful events have occurred and that we can expect that they will not appear in the future and that we will maintain this state. The harmful event mentioned here refers to an event that harms the body, property, or the environment and or worsens it. And while it happens, it will cause many problems for people. The most significant harmful event for us is the release of energy from chemical substances. Example, explosions and fires. And we call the safety of this part as safety defense. And we carry out special management on it. Handling a large number of highly reactive chemicals in one place means that a large amount of energy is concentrated together, which is very dangerous, creating a potential source of danger. Taking the representative chemical substance petroleum as an example, the combustion heat is 10,600 kilocalories per kilogram. If 500 tons is processed, it will produce 10,600 times 500 times 1,000 equals 5,300 gigacalories energy when completely burned. Depending on the rate of combustion, the amount of energy generated per unit of time varies. Considering the scale alone, the equivalent of TNT would be about 5 kg of gunpowder, which is about one third of the Hiroshima atomic bomb, which is a surprisingly huge amount of energy. For our chemical manufacturers, the essence of our business is to safely handle such dangerous and hazardous chemical substances and to make contributive products for the world. It is precisely because this kind of safety technology is not easy that it becomes a commercial barrier and new products continue to be born without being affected by excessive competition. Since the booming of European and American industries in the 1800s, it has been passed down to the present day. The example given above is an example of the harm caused by the heat of combustion. But the heat of polymerization which is the energy generated when the monomers are connected to form a polymer and the heat of dissolution cannot be ignored due to the large scale of the plant. In chemical companies, there are multiple mechanisms for safety defense. For next time, I will introduce the system with specific example. Thanks very much for your attention and welcome any questions about this article.